the Arch distribution that we will cover today is Endeavor OS. They have recently released Atlantis Neo, which improves their uh, rolling release additions with more features and more maintenance for the installation problems that are facing with their Calamaris uh, installer. So basically what they have is other than the traditional ones that come with them, which is XFCE, Mate, Cinnamon, Gnome, Plasma, Budgie, LXQT, i3WM, they included LXDE, BSPWM, a community edition, open box Sway, and Qtile. So they, they promised that the installation will be better and uh, they improved on Pac-Man. The reason I chose Endeavor OS is that lately it is ranking number two in the Linux distribution according to DistroWatch, which based its uh, ranking on the page hit ranking. I don't know how reliable it is, but it give me it intrigued me to try it out and see how is the installation, how easy it is to install an Arch distribution using a certain community. The other thing that I will discuss is that they have a page which will discusses installi- installing Endeavor OS on VirtualBox. They give a, a slight hint in, on to how to make the settings of the VirtualBox if we want to install it. So we'll have a better installation and better graphics uh, enablement in VirtualBox. You can check this uh, page or I will do the same thing in VirtualBox. So let us get started. We start with new, I will call it Arch. Next, I'll put two gigabyte. Next, create, I'll put next, next. I'll add it to around 14 gigabyte. Okay. The next thing we will do is they put it in on their page is the display we pressed here the display we change it to 128 we make this one vbox svga and enable hardware acceleration it will give us an invalid settings detected I, I say ok then later on I go and to the video memory here I press it I put it 256 I press ok and now when I press the display, there is no more problem. So I have increased it, the video memory to 256. Next we will start. We'll put here add in the downloads Endeavor OS. Open, choose and start. We put press enter and we are back. We are uh, introduced by the welcome screen. So they have the start the installer and install community additions. The community additions, as we checked, it is the BSPSPWM, OpenBox, Sway, and Qtile. So if you want to install OpenBox, let's say, you have to install it here. Unfortunately, before when I started to install, I directly jumped here to the start the installer because it is the first thing. So if you press the start the installer, you have two methods. They say online, which lets you choose your desktop, which is fine. With vanilla theming, internet connection is required. And the offline, which give me this XFCE, which is also here on the desktop. So if I press online, we get the usual Calamaris theme here. So you press directly next, New York next, next, put erase disk, next. And here is also, they give you options. So I did not see open box here. So what I did, I said, okay, so it should be in the LXQT or LXDE. So if you get to open the LXDE, you have open box, so you can select it. So I selected it, I selected LX terminal light dm etc etc but i i did not check this one so 
I think you should have pressed this one and open box. I don't know. In either case, I did not press this one. I pressed open box and the others and light DM and it took a while and installed. Later on, it tell me light DM did not install and it had caused problems. I did not want to install any of the others. I said I will look back into the community editions. So I went back. So cancel. Yes. So here, install community editions. I press this one. And we're here in the, also in the Calamari screen. You press next, New York next, next. Put erase disk. Next. So I, I put the open box edition. Next. I kept everything the same. I pressed next. I put the username, password, etc. Put next. I waited for maybe half an hour or one hour to install and later it gave me this error. So this is much unfortunate. So the last thing that we will do now is we will try the XFCE version which is, which is the offline one. So to do that, we have to do start the installer, go offline. We are now in the Calamaris installer. I press next, 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 put erase. Next, I will name it Arch. I'll put a password. Next, and install. So now it is installing, and we will come back after installation. I will restart and we'll come back with to get a feel of Endeavor OS. We restarted and we came back here. We put our password. So the welcome screen has changed. There is the update mirrors. This has to do with some problems with the uh, Pac-Man that they talked about. If you want to update the system directly, you can press this one. Let's update the system to check it. So enter the root password. So it is working. Let us keep it working. They have changed display manager. If you don't like the display manager, you can have four choices. That is the resolution also, you can change the default wallpaper and the theme also, the default theme if you want. So that's the first page. The second thing is the assistant, the same thing, update system, update mirrors, pack diff and melt, logs for troubleshooting. Looking at the four here, browse all Arch packages and AUR and applications category. These are all bookmarks for internet as a browser. So you press it, you enter the browser. I would have preferred, let me press it. I would have preferred they put these directly on the Firefox application. It is loading the, the packages, the Arch Linux packages. They should have put it here. If you press Control Shift B, you will have here the bookmarks. They could have included all the, all of the, these on as bookmarks better than t talking about the welcome screen here they give you an instruction a suggestion how you want to install library office fresh install library office already installed chromium web browser oh, okay it's installing it cancel let us look at the update it's finished Installing as reboot is recommended to the upgrade of core system packages. Let's enter to close the window. Let us cover here in the system. They have the EOS update uh, notifier, which we see here. Reboot recommended because we have finished the installation. The Endeavor apps info, the one that we found before. The lock tool, the reflector simple, which also gives the mirrors if we want to change the mirrors or include more mirrors so that we don't have a problem with the with pacman but we updated the uh, fine so we don't have any problems update in terminal the same thing and the welcome screen that we have discussed for the settings it is the basic one for xfce nothing fancy all of them are 
basic ones in the multimedia we have parole media player pulse audio also the same for the internet we don't have any email client so we only have firefox graphics is simple Restrito image viewer development we have meld so they, they give the freedom for the user to install whatever he wants we have Thunar and I think that this is not a themed Thunar because they don't have only they have no custom actions if you want to improve on Thunar so they give us all the freedom to choose our own programs and they also included yay so let's say yay I want to install SFW bar which is in the AUR packages I already installed it so if you want to look at the memory I think they installed htop no htop is not installed let's try top so it is using 770 with the Firefox so it should go down so 485 megabyte which is the average for XFCE systems if I want to change the background desktop setting so they have the default XFCE And directly changes let us check how much space it is using so it is using around 5.5 gigabyte which is also on the average side in the end I believe that Endeavor OS is a very is a good uh, distribution art distribution the installation for XFCE went very fine and there was no problems but there might be some problems with the uh, mirrors or the online installation i i think it's better for them to fix it or to just give a offline installation the same as they did with artix artix they just give us the offline versions for all the distributions and you can install them directly or they could go the arco linux way which i also discussed where they have a one button beginner installation you click it and it will install everything for you other than that this is uh, this has been a very smooth distribution no no problems very uh, responsive so hope you like it and uh, we will be back in another video